What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another uh, foam cannon review and today we have the Chemical Guys Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. So let's go ahead and open this guy up, check it out, test it out, see what we got. Alright guys, so here it is. Uh, I'm just going to read off some of the things on the back of it or on the side of it. It shows control your foam, standard thing, the adjustment knob on the top controls the amount of foam. Uh, full foaming range, meaning you can adjust the angle uh, from a zero degree to as wide as you want, really. Uh, it's got a big mouth, uh, so it says extra wide, two and a half inch bottle, makes it really easy to fill uh, your soap into the, into the machine or into the foam cannon. Uh, it says get foaming fast, just showing that it has a quick connection on it, so you're able to just take, get everything going. And then shoot thick thuds, blanket your ride in rich foaming suds and lubricate the surface to help prevent swirling and scratching. The rich lather gently Encap encapsulates abrasive dirt and grime, so it just rolls off the surface for the gentlest yet cleanest wash ever. Now, some of the uh, ratings on this thing, it does show a minimum PSI of 800, uh, minimum GPM of 1.4, but it does show 2.0 recommended, um, and it has a standard quick connect. So, let's open this up. Again, with same thing with this one, guys, I don't know, um, if it has a 1.1 or a 1.25 millimeter orifice. So we'll test it, then we'll open it up and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. All right, so right off the bat, packaging is very nice. Everything sits in there perfectly. You have a little, uh, like little flyer slash brochure on this thing, I guess. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it just goes over the, all the details. That's very, very detailed actually. Uh, 32 ounce bottle, quarter, quarter inch quick connect, minimum pressure 800, minimum flow 1.4, max temperature 140 degrees. Uh, maximum pressure is 3500, maximum flow is 5.3 GPM. So somewhere between 1.4 to 5.3. Uh, let's see here. It does show right here, guys. I love that they actually label this. It shows that it is a 1.1 millimeter orifice. So we don't need to change this thing out. This comes with a 1.1, we're good to go. Uh, let's see here. I'm not gonna read through the rest of this. It does have a little advertisement on the back for other items you can get. Obviously, honeydew snow foam uh, soap, Mr. Pink soap. Um, I did a review on both of those. I'll link down in the description below. I did a whole comparison on a bunch of soaps. We're gonna continue that. Um, my buddy has the foam cannon that I was using in that test. I want to keep it all consistent through the whole thing. So um, I'll get that back from him in a couple days and then I'll start testing out some more. Um, then they'll show a detailing bucket, wash mitt, all that kind of good stuff. So that is that. Right off the bat, here's your head unit. Feels heavy um, in a good way. Let's see here. Now this does not this piece back here does not spin, meaning you cannot adjust it from, from vertical to horizontal. You're just gonna be able to shoot vertical, which is fine, it's not a big deal. Um, it does have the standard opening and closing of the valve on the end. Um, I gotta say guys, this thing moves very, very, very fluidly. It's nice, it feels great. Um, cool, that's all good. Now we've got our bottle. Bottle's nice, clear, very, very clear. Most other foam cannons aren't this clear. They're, you can see, they're, but, but this is obviously completely clear, completely clear and we're good to go. The straw is nice and flimsy, um, so it'll stay in the solution pretty well, but it does not have anything at the end. I do prefer if it has a little ball bearing or something at the end so that it stays in the liquid no matter what si no, what, no matter how you're holding it. Um, but it doesn't, no problem though. So. Again, you just have your little uh, knob here. You just slide the straw right over it, over it. That's it, good to go. And then you're able to put it in, screw it on. Everything lines up super nice. It screws on really, really nicely. Um, I really, really like that actually. That's, it feels great in your hand. Um, one of the things that I do like also is that it is a wide mouth. So you're able to put solution in very, very easily. However, it's not super, super wide. So I like that because you can store it in a normal, like a normal bottle holder. I'm, we, we operate a lot mobile uh, for our detail business. I have a whole storage lot of um, 
it, it'll storage spaces in my van for bottle sizes and this will fit. Um, the wider ones don't fit. However, because of this, let's see, let's do a little test here. Will it stand up on its own? It will. I mean, if you're just going to put it down quickly, it's probably gonna fall over on you. Yeah, but if you take your time, it does stay up by itself. So that's it. Um, let's go ahead and I'll walk you through. We'll go ahead and test this out. Uh, let's go test this really quickly in my van to see if it fits. All right guys, so here's the storage in my van and it doesn't fit. So disregard that, it still doesn't fit. Um, so size of the bottle, doesn't matter on this one. It doesn't do any good uh, being smaller than the other ones. It's just, it's just whatever, it doesn't fit in these. Um, like the chemicals or the, sorry, the polishes and stuff do, or like the bottles do. So as you can see here, because of that, I am just running the Sunjo uh, foam cannon in my truck right now. Um, it is, does have the 1.1 millimeter orifice swapped out in it, um, but it fits in the bottle holder nicely. All right guys, so to keep everything fair and consistent across the board when I test all these uh, foam cannons, I'm always using Mr. Pink. Uh, in every foam cannon review I do, I'm always using Mr. Pink and approximately just the same amount. I put like a uh, one-tenth product or soap and the rest is all water. Go ahead and give it a little shake. Let's just test this too. Um, Flip it over. It does leak a little bit. Um, there's like a little relief valve that seems like there. So uh, whatever, that's not a big deal. Uh, so there it is. The pressure washer that I'm gonna be using for this test, again, just to be consistent across the board, I'm actually gonna be using the Ryobi 1600 PSI, 1.2 GPM, little unit. It has no wheels around it, anything on it. Really simple little unit, but it does a great job. Uh, and that way we'll be able to test this. Because it has a 1.1 millimeter orifice, it should work fine with that pressure washer, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so I have the 1600 PSI 1.2 GPM Ryobi pressure wash unit set up down here. It's plugged in, the water's hooked up and flowing through it, and I just purged all the air out of the line just by not turning the machine on yet, pulling the trigger on the wand and letting all the air come out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and connect the foam cannon, test this guy out. So make sure that the knob is cranked all the way down. That's how I always test them. We'll check the nozzle spray pattern about there. I'll have to adjust it as I go, uh, but we should be good. We go ahead and fire it on and we'll see how it works. Let me zoom you guys in and so we can test this and you guys can see the actual results. All right guys, we're all set, here we go. To be perfectly honest, it's a little watery, waterier than I'd like. Um, just with the 1.1 millimeter orifice, typically you get it's a little bit thicker than that. Um, let's make sure this is all mixed up. Everything's tightened down. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit watery. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out. Okay, guys. So we're gonna. Uh, I think it should be filming better than that. Um, it, again, it's not bad. It's, it's doing its job. It's just, it's not super thick. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have to go ahead and just take the top off first and foremost. Alrighty, so we're good there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off and take off the quick connect and then we're going to pull off the orifice and look at it. Um, I do have a 1.1 millimeter orifice here. So we're going to look at it and see if there's a difference in size. So it's sitting right there. So I'll just grab a screwdriver and back it out. Flathead screwdriver. There we go. Here it comes. And yeah, that looks like a 1.1 millimeter orifice. Yeah, it does. Um, I, 
I mean, it's hard to tell. The one on my left here, the aftermarket one that I have, looks a little bit smaller, but it's hard to kind of line them up equally and really get a good representation. So we will put the aftermarket one in and test it with that just to see if it makes a difference. So let me go ahead and line that up and put this one in. Good. Okay, so we're good there. We're gonna go ahead and put the quick connect back on. And then we're gonna do something else with this one as well. We're gonna open up the nozzle portion and look at the foam of the, sorry, the mesh insert. And that's kind of the, the, the foam maker. Um, so basically, let's see here. We gotta get this little pin out. You guys can see that little pin there. It's a little U-shaped one. We're just gonna get a screwdriver under it, pull it up. So we got the pin out. Now, with that, we should be able to pop off the whole unit here, and we are left with this. So, this should slide off now. Let me see here. There we go. And here is the mesh insert right here. So, this sits here. Actually, it sits in the no nozzle piece, it sits there. This goes over the top. And then this goes over the top, the pin goes in, and that's how the foam cannon works. So this is a very, it's a nice and thick one, and it's very dense. Um, I don't know if it's picking, up, picking it up on camera, um, but it should definitely be doing its job. I mean, I don't see any reason that this wouldn't work um, at all. So let's just go ahead and reassemble it, and we'll test it out. Now using uh, that other orifice and see if that makes a difference at all. Let me just go ahead and put this thing back together. You do want to make sure that you're sliding everything. Oops. You got to line up some of the pieces. There we go. That's good. That sits all the way down to there. Put the pin back in. All the way down. All right, everything's back together, working perfectly. So now with that different orifice in there, let's just go ahead and try it out and see if that made a difference at all. Again, the one that it comes with is supposed to be a 1.1 millimeter, so it probably won't, but we'll test and see. All right, guys, we're back. We have everything connected back up again. I did rinse the panel off uh, the back of my truck, so it is wet, so keep that in mind, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. If it's gonna stick, it's gonna stick regardless. So here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, I would say that's better. Um, it's still a little bit runny, but pretty, pretty good. Um, just to be, just to see, I'm gonna add a little bit more soap, see if that makes a difference as well. The aftermarket 1.1 millimeter orifice that I put in definitely seems like it's a slight bit smaller than the one that they give you. So I don't know, I, I don't know, you know, I don't have a way of measuring that, but in my opinion, we are getting a little bit more foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the bottle up a little bit more, just put another squirt or so of um, soap in there and then we'll test it again. All right guys, so I added some more soap to it. Um, let me go ahead and rinse the panel off real quick and then we'll test it again. open it now we're gonna go and test here we go okay again still a little bit runny but I'm happy with that uh, amount of foam that's a good amount of foam it's doing its job it's sticking to the panel it's running down encapsulating all the dirt and stuff and washing it with uh, kind of listening up and pulling it away before you go to a contact wash, which will help reduce any scratching, marring, all that kind of good stuff. Um, just as a fun little option, I'm going to test this with some of uh, Adam's um, Mega Foam Car Wash Soap. 
very expensive, but it foams like crazy. So just to get a comparison um, and test it out using that. So I'm gonna go rinse this off, we'll throw the atoms in there and then we'll test. Okay guys, so we've got it filled up with the atoms mega foam now. We'll go ahead and connect it back to the pressure washer wand and let's test it with the mega foam. So guys, much, 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 much better. Go ahead and zoom you in on that. It's sitting there now, it's not watery at all. It's just stuck to the panel. That's kind of what I like more. Um, so you can either, Adam's Mega Foam is a very concentrated product. So a little bit goes a long way and gives you amazing foam. If you're using something like Mr. Pink, you can add more um, and get more. Obviously you're reducing the dilution ratio, um, but then you're, if you're adding so much more product then you're going to be at about the same price as the Adam, Adam's Mega Foam. So keep that in mind. One thing I do not like guys, um, it's set at the angle that I like for the car. However, watch this. It really foams at the mouth of this thing. So I'm going to see if I can try and get this, um, to pick up for you, but you'll see it just gathering a bunch of foam here and dropping. So here we go. So I do not like that. Um, it, it's performing well. I like the unit. It's just the head for some reason is, it's almost like it's set back a little bit too far and it's catching foam as it's coming out at the bottom. And it's, it's just a waste. Um, and plus, as you're working, you don't wanna be dropping a bunch of foam just all over the floor or around the car. It, it's ineffective and inefficient. So um, that's one little thing that I have to note on this. Otherwise it's a good unit. Um, price wise, let me go check for you guys. Okay. So I just checked my computer on chemicalguys.com as well as on amazon.com. That foam cannon, uh, the big mouth max release foam cannon from chemical guys retails for $89 and 99 cents. So with that in mind, no, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I hope this helps you guys. If you have it already, it is a good unit. It works well. If you haven't bought one yet and you're considering this one, I would say don't buy it. You can get something that performs just as well for, I mean, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. The thing that I do like about it is that it is a plastic bottle on a plastic head. So you're not gonna strip off the bottle um, and it's screwed on very nicely. Everything feels really good. The uh, adjustment on the nozzle itself is very fluid. It feels really good, like it's built well. It's just not getting the amount of foam that I like and it's not, um, it, I don't like that it's catching foam at the bottom and dripping out like that. I, I think that's ridiculous. So um, I did just do a review on the Max Shine foam cannon. That one was great. And even better than that still, in my opinion, is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Um, I'll link those both down in the description below for you guys. Also, along with a cheap version um, that you do want to switch out the orifice to. So I'll put a link to that right under that one. Um, the only problem with that one is that it is a brass head on a plastic bottle so you can strip out the threads because it's brass going on the plastic um, but with that being said that one does have a little ball bearing type weight at the bottom of the straw so that's nice um, the mjjc foam cannon pro has all of those things has the ball uh, ball bearing weight it has the wide mouth opening um, it comes with both a 1.25 and a 1.1 millimeter orifice that produce a ton of foam especially the 1.1 if you're using an electric pressure washer um, it also has an adjustment so you can shoot horizontally and vertically. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing foam cannon. So, um, that's it guys at that price, 90 bucks. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I like it a lot. It's just at 90 bucks. It's too much 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I'm okay with 90 is too much. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps you. Uh, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing more soap tests coming up here soon. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Hope you uh, have a good rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one.